but I've known Danny for a long time. I don't know who his opponent is. I can't pronounce his name, but he's from Bushido MMA. He looks like he's let himself go a little bit. Unfortunately, Danny hasn't looked like he's let himself go, so my money's on Danny for this fight. Marius Lakovitsis, he's tough and experienced, but hasn't fought recently, so will Cage Rust be a factor? And it's interesting you see, you mentioned that potentially looks out, out of shape. Which one, Danny or the other? Oh, Marius. Fat, fat guts. Yeah, he needs to let his, let his guts go a little bit. And he hasn't fought for a long time. Is it? I think he's the last time he fought, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was 2010. 2012, potentially. 2010? It's a long time since he's fought. Jesus Christ. He's got good boxing type grappling skills, but like you said, Dan well, he, Vinny, he, a supreme competitor that started competing in MMA when he was 15 years old. Veteran fighter now in the full mount here, Brad. Oh, big slams here. Big mount. elbows. Barrage well, of punches here. This one might be stopped early on. Dan Vinny slamming down the hammer fist here. Unfortunately, I think the ref's going to stop this. This is not going well. The ref's going to stop it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, I'm good. On the point. There we go. On the fucking point. For your point, TKO, and now your supreme kick fighting lights heavy. We get some words here with Dan. Dan, an impressive performance there. Talk us through what's important to have a jiu-jitsu background to enable your ground and pound in the cage. Yeah, you know, obviously I don't want him standing back up. The plan was to kind of strike with him, but he caught me with something, so I was like, okay, I'll take him down and ground and pound, you know? But uh, yeah, jiu-jitsu is cool, but I don't want to get too political about jiu-jitsu, but all these pussies, like, jiu-jitsu is super for MMA. The MMA should fit in with jiu-jitsu, but well, I, I, I digress. Thank you, man, yeah. What does it mean to you to come here and fight and perform in such a great venue in, in front of the crowd in Bournemouth? Yeah, you know, it's cool. It's a, it's a good show. It's run well. Everyone's treated well. So again, like, I appreciate it. I haven't fought here, well, I haven't fought here in about four years. So it's good to be back and it's good to uh, have good shows like this. You're a massive competitor, a veteran of the sport. Now, you've got the light heavyweight strap. What's next for you? Yeah, hopefully defending it. I saw some fat guy on Instagram talking shit. Like, oh, I'll be next. So if he wants to fight for the heavyweight belt or whatever the f 